Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1202. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, I want to take a pivot table and off to the side have a hurdle for conditional formatting. So if I type 1400, instantly inside the table, I want to see any numbers greater than that. 1300, zero, zero, boom. So that's quite amazing. We can do conditional formatting on a pivot table. So let's go over to the sheet 1202, click in a single cell of our proper data set, field names at the top, records and rows, empty cells all the way around, single cell, insert, pivot table, or Alt N V. And I want to put this on an existing sheet. I'm going to say, how about F1, click OK. Now, the first thing I want to do is I need year. So I'm going to drag the date down to rows. Instantly, I get a unique list of all the dates. Right click, and I want to group months, and I want to click on years. You don't have to hold Control in this list here. You just click, click, and it works. When I click OK, instantly I have grouped by year and month. Now, notice the new field called years, and it's up here also. This date, that actually means month. I'm going to drag this away here. So now I have years. Drag store down, units down to values. And we'll do a little pivoting in just a second. Hey, I don't like that row labels. I'm going to go up to design, report layout, and either outline or tabular to show the field names. Now we're going to come up and in the Values area, right click, Number Formatting. And I'd like to add, say, number with a comma. And these are whole numbers, counting units. So I'm going to have zero decimals. Click OK. Now, before we do our conditional formatting, let's come over here and make our hurdle. Enter. And then we'll start with 1500 as our hurdle. And I'll format it. Right click, and then the, the mini toolbar here, a fill and a fill font color and some borders. And then maybe right click borders. All right, now I want to pivot the table. I actually want years over here, so I'm going to click inside the pivot table. And from our pivot table field list, just drag from the row area years over to columns. Later, we'll pivot it back and see that the um, conditional formatting will follow it. All right, so now I'm going to click in some cell inside the value area and home, conditional formatting, new rule, or the keyboard Alt H L N. And check that out. It knows it's in a pivot table. If you have a regular cell without a pivot table, this top part does not appear. Selected cells, that's the default. All cells showing sum of units. No, I want to isolate it to store and year, so I'm going to select that one. And I want to come down, and I'm going to use one of the built-in features, format only cells that contain cell value is greater than or equal to. And now I'm going to select 1,500. All right, and then I'm going to click the Format button right here. On the fill, I'm going to select Green and Font Color White. Click OK, click OK, and boom, there's nothing because the hurdle is too high, but as soon as I type 1,400, boom, 1,300, boom. That is amazing. And if we pivot this, take years back over here. Look at that. Take store over here. And there we go. Now I'm going to say 1,200. Wow. So conditional formatting in a pivot table. We'll see you next video.